Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I put together this Blick Studio Medium Duty H-Frame Easel. So the first thing I like to do before putting together any piece of furniture is just sorting out all of my materials and making sure that I have all the pieces, parts, and screws that I need. The flathead and Phillips head screwdrivers came included. I had absolutely no idea what this piece was for. It was not in the instruction. When preparing to work with pieces 11 and 12, be sure to align them so that the slots are facing upwards, so closer to you, not the ground, once you put the other pieces in. When inserting piece three, the holes on either side should be facing upwards as well. So again, closer to you and not the ground. When you put piece A in, be sure that the piece with the line on it, when you get it you, yourself, you'll see, but be sure that the piece with the line on it is also facing outward. That helps you use the Phillips head screwdriver to hold it in place as you screw it in. So the same rule applies for piece four. The holes on the outer side should be facing you and not the ground. Just a heads up, so the differences between piece three and piece four is piece three has an extra hole in the very center of it, whereas piece four does not. So do be mindful of this as you're putting your own easels together. When adding piece five, the hinges should be facing you. The piece with the two holes is the piece that you'll be attaching to pieces 11 and 12. You'll be using the B screws for this one. Now I am attaching the frame to piece 10. Do make sure that the flat side of piece 10 is facing you and that the hinge on the frame is facing you as well. The upper center hole of piece 10 should be aligned with the center hole of piece three. And now we screw this bad boy in using the B screws. Now I am flipping the easel over and adding piece 13 to piece 10. I actually made a bit of a mistake here so I had to slide 13 back out just a little bit in order to add piece C which is pictured here. I am now adding pieces six, eight, and nine. The hinges should be facing towards you. Do make sure that the orange rubber stoppers are facing upwards as well and that the slots on the inside are facing towards the easel. When attaching piece six, make sure that the holes are faced up. Next, we're going to secure those pieces with the A screws. Now I'm attaching piece seven to pieces eight and piece 13. 
I'm using the F screw to attach piece seven to piece eight. And same for the other side. Now I am using the E screw to attach piece seven to piece 13. These pieces will be used to help you adjust the angle of your easel. Now I am placing piece two and piece one onto the easel frame. I actually struggled a bit with this part. When you're doing it, be sure to just put piece two on first. I'm using piece D right here. These pieces are used to help you adjust your easel once it's fully built. I'm now adding my last D screw to piece one. As you can see, I put it on before placing the piece on the easel. I think I've learned my lesson this time. So this is pretty much it. The completed canvas. There was an extra piece. Normally when there are extra pieces, that means something is off. So I'm a little nervous, but this is it. So let's see what this bad boy does. So. With this piece, you can adjust the height a little more if you want a little taller. This piece does the same. So you can lower it for larger canvases, raise it for smaller canvases. I believe I can adjust the height this way too. So there's a nozzle in the back. I'm gonna turn this around. This is dedication, y'all. This thing is heavy. But yes, there's a nozzle in the back. You can open it up and, whew, heavy. Move this up and down. But yeah, you can go really, 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 really high and just lock it back up. And then you leave it there. Voila. I'm gonna lower this back down. I don't see myself ever painting anything that big, but who knows, right? Okay. You can adjust the angle. So I'm gonna loosen this on both sides. And this is how you adjust your angle. I am in love. I cannot wait to do my first piece on this. If I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna say this thing folds up. I hope it does. This is pretty much it. I am personally in love. So here is the final product, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe.